Hi guys, Boris here and today I am planning to or I am making a video on how to keep discus for beginners and me I cannot say that I'm a discus guru or this discus expert but here I'm gonna tell you on what is my experience on keeping discus so today we will tackle about tank size, filter, lighting, substrate or no substrate, temperature, water parameters, water flow or water movement for discus, uh, plants suitable for discus tank, decor, what you can put inside the tank, and how many discus can you keep on the tank and what food can you feed your discus so we will start on tank size here I have 160 centimeters length 75 centimeters height and 65 centimeters width so I prefer that size because discus needs space they love to to have more space to swim to move around and discus can be quite territorial especially when they are breeding so big tank is quite good or is it is good for keeping discus and the rule of thumb is one discus per 10 gallon we will tackle that afterwards so, tank size, they need space. Next is filter. What kind of filter that we can use on this cast tank? Here I have two canister filter and one hung in inside the filter. So that is a Eheim Pickup 200. So I have two canister filter that is fluvial. 405 or 305 I'm not sure but they are quite good um, they are quite powerful I am satisfied on on how they function and next is the filtering system uh, the discus tank filtering system plays a big role on how you can maintain a good ecosystem and good quality of water inside your tank because discus I will tell you they are heavy eaters heavy eaters means they dump quite a lot so you need to have a good system in in my tank I have two canister filter and one hanging filter so the hanging filter is a pickup Eheim 200 and I have two fluvial 405 if I'm not mistaken canister filter uh, at the, uh, as of the moment I have uh, 13 discus and neon tetras and corridoras inside and I am quite impressed or satisfied on how this fil on, on how my filtering system is working and I think it is good on the number of discus I have next will be the lighting in here I have two sets of blue and two sets of white T5 uh, lamps and I usually installed it or I installed it like a pair of blue and white so they will have a good combination they will have a good combination because if I only or I notice if I only put why it's either it's too bright or if I put only blue it's quite dark in the tank so on my experiment I am quite satisfied on the combination of blue and white and on a discus tank you don't need like a very bright lamp because discus doesn't like too bright because they have uh, big eyes and they are quite they can get 
uh, scared very fast like shadow sudden movement so too bright tank is not good for this because and in the wild they usually live in the mangrove roots so they like dark places so they can hide from predators but in here as you can see my tank is not so uh, bright so they can like swim around also one reason why I put a uh, combination of white and blue lights because of the plants they need to make food for them so photosynthesis it gives them enough uh, artificial sunlight from the lighting that I have so usually I turn on the lights for four to six hours per day and that I think that's quite enough to control the algae and give the plants enough nutrients next is substrate or no substrate a lot of people uh, you will see in the internet they will say if you will take care of this cause or if you want to keep this cause it's better to go bare bottom but as you can see I have a substrate since I want to keep plants inside uh, my tank and uh, want, I want to have a good ecosystem inside the tank so it maintains itself technically so it's a matter of what is your taste as I can say that some if you want to keep like uh, discuss in a bare bottom tank it's easy to maintain because you can see all the dirt you can see uh, how many food is left on the bottom and you can just siphon it but if you have a gravel or a substrate then for me it's not uh, hard to keep like what I said uh, substrate or no substrate it's up to you if there's no substrate then it's quite easy to maintain easy to clean you can see what's in your tank but if you have substrate uh, the advantage is you can plant you can maintain a good ecosystem because bacteria lives in the substrate in here um, on the maintenance of my substrate I usually siphon it uh, once a month I usually do it on the end of the month so I have my calendar so I know when to siphon it next is temperature uh, as you can see this is a tropical fish and in Amazon it is really warm so this cause it needs warm waters but this is domesticated discus I have few wild ones uh, I have two uh, straight from Brazil I ordered them but uh, my discus I keep them on 28 degrees Celsius some will say you can keep your discus on 33 degrees Celsius 32 31 but if you want to keep plants with the discus of course uh, if you want to put uh, plants like this one I have a planted tank I maintain it on 28 degrees because if you go up on 28 degrees yes sometimes plants uh, can survive but usually in the long run they die it's based on my experience because when I started uh, keeping discus I keep my discus at 32 degrees Celsius so my plants usually last two weeks and they turn into like a brown moss after that so technically discuss like warm water and then again it is up to you if you want to keep a planted tank then 
you can keep your temperature at 28 to 28.5 but if you want to keep uh, no plants or artificial tank or artificial plants on your tank then you can up your temperature up to 32 degrees Celsius and of course if your water is warm their metabolism will go up so they are always hungry and when you are growing discus it is good if you have a warmer temperature so your discus will always eat because that's what make them big especially it's good from their first three months you have to feed them always feed them so they will grow like big next is water parameters in the internet or in the many breeders uh, discuss experts uh, you will see or you will hear that RO water H water and pH 6.5 what is the uh, hardness of the water but yes e, first before you keep it, you keep discuss you have to test your tap water so water parameters for discuss like pH it should be like the good pH for discuss uh, 6.5 to 7 and it really depends like for example they say domesticated ones it can tolerate until 7.8 pH and the water hardness should be 4 but on my experience I only tested my water once when I started keeping discus my key on success in keeping discus is consistency you should be consistent on especially on the water parameters it is they say uh, 6 to 7 pH is good but mine I keep it 6.5 you will hear ROI water H water is good for discuss the chlor the chlorinator you need to put on the water but me I use like straight from the tap and I just make sure that they get the same pH every time I change the water so here is the proof that I am succeed, succeeding on keeping my discus. Next is water flow. Water flow inside your tank is very important. So here I put the Eheim Pickup 200. So it maintains the flow in the tank. And I have three air stones. So they can uh, have, uh, they can give uh, surface agitation uh, since they have warm water they need water flow so it can so the water will have more oxygen also water flow it helps to maintain the cleanliness of your tank and uh, because of the water flow uh, it carries it helps carries the poop like up and then your filter will suck it because usually the poop stays in the bottom if you have a good water flow it lifts it up and then your uh, canister filter will suck it in and then it will filter the water so it will maintain a good and clean water and next what plant is suitable for discus tank it is a million dollar question so in here I keep Anubias, Java Ferns or Amazon Sword and Ludwigia and Thai Onion or Water Onions because it can tolerate uh, quite warm waters but then again you have to control your temperature because and you will notice if your plant is dying then you have to adjust your temperature the next what else you can put inside your discus tank um, I advise you to put uh, I can say like it should be a discus proof decor or you should think that what you put inside doesn't 
harm your fish because your fish will grow big and they need space as you can see here I have a one big driftwood and some stones uh, lava rocks I put lava rocks because it maintains or it controls a pH and the hardness of the water and also the mangrove uh, the, the mangrove the driftwood it helps on maintaining your pH and in the wild they have uh, mangrove roots and driftwood uh, in the water and also uh, I keep plecos plecos loves driftwood because they eat it and they live in it but take note always put a decor or uh, yeah decor that is discus proof like what I said like on uh, a while ago discus can be a quite startled fish so it can be like scared very easily if there's a sudden movement there is like a shadow or if you turn on the lights they will just shoot up so if you have like a sharp or a very big decor inside your tank and then if they shoot up and then they if they hit the, their head on that sometimes they can get injuries or sometimes it can lead to a quite fatal accident because I have few friends that they experience that they when they turn on the lights their discus like shoot up they hit their discus hit the uh, the glass and the discus skull is broken so after a few days it dies so every time you put decor inside your tank always think it is safe for my discus and it is is it practical to put it so always put what you need and what can maintain your water and your tank ecosystem next is how many discus you can keep in your tank always the rule of thumb is one discus per 10 gallon so if you keep or if you take note of that then one time water change per week you can survive but of course if you want more discus then you need to up your water change for example here i have 13 discus and i have 600 liters of water so in liters per gallon uh, in 10 gallons it should have like 37.8 liters so if you round it up in 600 liters you should you can keep here 15 discus but here I have 13 adult discus and few other fishes but uh, one water change per week I can manage with that and it is healthy so if you want to keep more discus then up your water change if you want to keep or if you want to have once per week water change then follow the rule of thumb one discus per 10 gallons or one discus in 40 liters of water so yes now you have your tank size filter lighting substrate or bare bottom temperature you know what water parameters you should need or you should have and should you need water flow of course you need and then plants if you want to keep plants decor if you want to put decor inside your tank and how many discus you can keep on your tank so technically you are already on your discus keeping hobby so what's left is what food will you give your discus so some say dried is good uh, frozen dried uh, live or just frozen food so what's the question the answer 
So that's the question. So the answer is make them eat everything. Because if you just feed them blood worms, artemia, all the frozen stuff, and suddenly your fish store runs out of it. And what will you feed your discus? So it's better if you make them accustomed to eat everything. So here, at first, I, st uh, I started feeding them uh, frozen beef heart, uh, discus food. And I can say that the beef heart, it gives them more protein and it helps them grow faster. But then again, if you give uh, frozen beef heart, uh, it makes your water dirty so you need to have a good filtering system and I give them uh, on a daily basis in the morning I feed them these tetragranules the food for discus the ready ones and in the evening I give them sometimes frozen artemia uh, discus ready-made frozen food and uh, discus mix beef heart so I think guys that's all and you are ready on keeping and starting your discuss fish hobby so if you have more question or more topic that you want me to tackle on my next video just put comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like thank you